So I just walked into this place called PVV, which is a big landmark in Mapsa. You can't miss it at the entrance to Mapsa Market. And with me is Conrad Vaz. Conrad Vaz. Conrad is the third generation of the family, hundred year old business. Yes, yes. Third, third generation. Started by Pedro Vincent Vaz, who is a grandfather. Grandfather. So Conrad, so nice to meet you. Lovely display, lovely Thank display. You. Uh, they are into creating spirits themselves, bottling spirits, selling spirits. This is a one-stop shop. But I want Conrad to tell us what's unique about Goan spirits today. Okay, as you, as you know, Goa is famous for your fennies. And uh, we, we do a couple of fennies of... L lovely packaging, huh? lovely packaging. Of... Dish dale, dish dale. Of, of flagship brand is the big boss. This package is, this is one lovely. Of our big boss. Then we do another brand called really unique. Huh? PVV. There is another bottle called Fish and Fanny. Wow. And then we unique, some, yeah. We do some very niche bottles like this. Wow, 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 wow. Ship inside. Wow. Oh gosh. And there is another one which is called it's called a cashew inside. These are golden treasure. My goodness. So these can be sent out. There is some problem of any being a local spirit or something like yeah, they call it as country liquor. Heritage spirit. Okay. Heritage spirit. But when you say term, they say local, local. But we call it as heritage spirit. You don't want to take it like a local yeah. spirit. How they do it in Maharashtra? Yeah, it's not just ordinary stuff. No, it it's is. not ordinary. But it's got it's in, uh, as, as you know, Fini has got its GI. So it is yeah. uh, as a heritage spirit. geographical indicator, yeah. and it can be produced only in Goa. Yeah. And over the years, it is now fighting away from that bad negative that, tag, and true. people are appreciating. That's so, so basically, Feni is one of the products, and you have a wide range of bottles and things like that. Yeah, we we do some nice takeaway bottles. When guests come to Goa, we yeah. got something like this, which is called the miniatures. Then we do a small miniatures, like a bulletproof. My goodness. Then we do a big boss. Then this is a Lembranza. This okay. is the only label. Designed by Mario Miranda for a Go and alcohol brand. company. I for, see. For an alcohol brand. Who convinced him? That's my uncle, Valentino Vaz. Yeah. He has he has convinced him. He's a very good friend of him. So that's the only label he is designed for a liquor. Mario is a tradition that, yeah, himself. Yes. The rest are uh, plucked out. You are showing me those miniature bottles, which are artistic. Lot of work has gone into this, no? So much work. I remember once you had to go to Italy to get these shaped and yeah, kind of bottles. Right. Apart from Feni, what is there to take home from Goa? Apart from in terms Feni. of liquors, uh, wines, unique? Yeah, wines and a lot of memories, I would say. A lot of memories. <laughs> but I'm not coming here to buy memories. See, so you see, tell sometimes, me. Sometimes, sometimes it's difficult yeah. to take away something from Goa. The only thing you can take away is the memories of. Goa. No, but you've got a huge range, huge range in that sense. Yeah, these, these, these you'll get all over the world. These are international brands, mostly. Okay. Mostly these are inter except for the Fenis, which are which are manufactured, which are only manufactured in Goa. Wines. What's the range of wines that Goa produces today? Whether it's your label or someone else's or. The range, sir, I, the range normally there's a variety of four wines that we do. Uh, which is, which is uh, done in Goa. I see. Like Vinicola is one of the very old companies. Margam, Margam. I knew Dr. Alredo, Dr. Okay. Alzaredo. Alzaredo. So they, they, they are they're very old company. So they do a lot of wines here. Yeah. They do a packet wine also, something small if someone wants to take. I see. Then you've got your San Andre also. So this is the best one-stop shop you would say. Or you I would want say, me to say? I would say. I am no, I'm no drinker no, of alcohol, so I don't know anything. You can sell me anything here, I'll believe it. These are huge, huh? Okay, these, these are... Yeah, these are two liters. It's liter. too liter. difficult to carry. They're glass bottles. I see. And then uh, there's another thing, like people come for this, like they, now this, this company does all these decanter bottles. My goodness. Oh, wow. So these are single so, bottles, which are produced in Goa. What moves fast? Produced in Goa where? Uh, this is done by a company called Labrador. They do this. They do this. I see. Labrador. Labrador. Yeah, Interesting. Some friends on the internet were showing photos of Goa produced uh, alcohol being sold in Netherlands and all that. It's yeah. very strange. So, so y'all, uh, what moves fast with the expat Goan and with the tourist to Goa? Separate markets, I would guess. What moves fast is the uh, is uh, your your your, your uh, like your Royal Sag signature. 
all those Indian whiskies, I am a fan okay. of whiskies. Okay, 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 okay. But Goans have any particular taste for reasons of nostalgia? They want Feni, they want no, wine? they are moving on now. They are, they are they are moving, moving on? They are moving. It's only the tourists that come, sometimes they want to try the Feni. That also says they are not Feni is a quiet taste, right? It's not, an acquired taste. Not everyone likes no, it. No, not everyone likes it. It's an acquired taste. So what? That is why then after there is something called, uh, this is company that makes this Rosita. It's like a ready to drink, RTDs. So it's got Feni, Kokum and Lime. So if you have not tried Feni and someone's trying okay. Feni for the first time, you could try this. So, okay, okay. So okay. it won't give you the harshness when, suppose if you buy a bottle and you don't know how to make it. So that's for someone who really likes it, wants to taste Feni and don't know how. There was a book it. called Guan Feni Cocktails written by Chef Zubin. I forget who, I forget who. Uh, no, I'm not. The Feni, Feni Cocktails, cocktails was, old book. I remember this, uh, uh, there was this gentleman from Taj who had written it. And, and Probably, yes, 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 you're right. Yes, you're right. Yeah, yeah, I think he has written a lot of Feni cocktails. I don't have any to get back to him to get some books. What is the price range of the products here? Lowest price, to the highest? Price range, so they start from 100 rupees or lower also. Hmm. Then up to, it depends then up to if you're going to go for the scotches, they go up to a lakh or so. Really? We don't, yeah, we don't, we don't see it. So, uh, I better not take my raincoat near one of those. If, <laughs> if you broke, if you break it, it's considered sold. So lucky we didn't have any those of those like those tragedies here. So far, <laughs> touch wood. <laughs> and uh, Goa has a distinct advantage in terms of price over other states. Uh, now it be uh, it's a little difficult now because most of the other states have reduced their prices of foreign liquor. So I see. It's, you get it cheaper in Gurgaon and Chandigarh. I see. So the price, for example, red label is around uh, 1800, 1850, and you get it around 800 or 900 rupees. Really? So that's that's killing the Goan market for some reason. So I don't know. We have to do something about it. The rest, IMFLs, Goa is okay. I have okay. To say. So the other uh, Indian made foreign liquors. Timings of your shop? 9.30 to 9.00. No lunch break, like no all good break, Mopsa, no, Mopsa no, no, market. No lunch break, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, closed. Sunday closed, Sunday, Sunday religious. Sabbath. Thanks so much, thanks welcome, so much. Welcome, welcome.